Kalispera. For the last three years of my life, I was giving birth to new ideas and babies. Today we will make a quick ride in the past, present and future of informatics world. In 1945, World War II was ended. In the same year, World Wide Web was founded. 67 years later, we are still thinking in terms of linked documents and data. We are storing documents into files and web pages. We are processing documents with myriads of formats. We are organizing them into hierarchies with folders and bookmarks. We use them to share and exchange in information. So far the digital document is the main vehicle of information interchange. In 1994 Tim Berners-Lee and others gave document an address for retrieving purposes. They named it Uniform Resource Locator. URL is still the core mechanism of World Wide Web. It is a hyperlink between documents. The semantic web though overloaded URL with identity and naming of web resources and that led to the identity crisis. In spite of the 10 years evolution of the semantic web, the problem is still present. Binary information resources are mixed with non-binary ones and digital realizations are confused with the actual entities they represent. Tim O'Reilly cleverly looked at the evolution of Internet from a different perspective. Web 2 includes social networking sites, blogs and media sharing. It offers rich user experience and participation, dynamic content and collaborative authoring. But Web 2 covers the same architectural problem as its predecessor. There is a gap between the presentation of information to the user and the representation of information for machines. Let me start with an easy problem. What is the difference between Web 2 and Web 3? The answer is one, because it unifies two different perspectives, the end user perspective and the technical user one, also known as GGG or Giant Global Graph. In the future, the end user will have his own decentralized specialized, personalized, eponymous social networks and portals, as well as concept maps to illustrate a complex problem and a new navigation and search method. On the other hand, the technical user will be involved with many interconnected services and each one will process data in a standard way with many different forms of input and output. For that reason, an upper level ontology is required to provide term definitions and relations. Over the past decade, many foundation ontologies appeared on the scene, but none as yet has been adapted by a wide user base. Your organ on upper level ontology is different in many aspects. Based on the topic map, standard it is varies to extend with definitions from other languages and ontologies, including a minimal set of elements categorized and abbreviated for memorizing purposes. In new law, a topic represents an information resource but there is an explicit distinction between a binary information resource and the notion of a term. In a direct analogy to URL, uniform symbol representation is the cornerstone of Web3. USR references everything, including files and web pages. Therefore, new law vocabulary includes those terms and relations between them that are necessary for auditing and annotating purposes. Last but not least, New law intuitively suggests new ways for modeling enary and directed relations. It introduces the variable term and the role of attributes as arguments in a relation. Okay, this is more than enough detail for the moment. Why I started all this? The first reason is my intention to organize and share my collection of bookmarks. Soon I realized that neither tagging nor hierarchical classification was close to what I was aiming for. The second reason is related to the Medilink open source project. I have studied thoroughly HL7 models, health standards, entity relational schemas, and it seems to me that the holy grail of health information interoperability is interwoven with web evolution. Let's recapitulate. Our trip to the mysterious world of digital information has now ended. But I urge you to continue exploration. We all need to find a map and a compass to carry on with our journey. With the public release of NULO, let us proclaim the ignition of Web3 for a prosperous and effective communication. Thank you for your attention.